crazy I'm crazy for feeling so lonely I'm crazy crazy for feeling so blue I knew you'd love me as long as you wanted and then someday you'd leave me for somebody new worry why do I of calls a month uh, where guys cannot re-verify their data. One of the common issues is that we see is the Coriolis effect. As the bullet leaves the, the barrel of the gun, the earth is still rotating and the bullet is not rotating with the earth. So it actually rotates from the west to the east. So what that's going to do to our targets is, is if you're shooting west, your target's going to rotate up and towards us, which is going to cause the bullets to hit lower. And if you're facing east, the target's going to be dropping and slightly moving away, which is going to cause the hits to be higher. The motion from the Earth's rotation can be split into two components, one that is in the direction of the bullet's flight and one that is perpendicular to the bullet's flight in the vertical direction. In Wyoming, the vertical speed of the target is approximately 2.7 inches per second. This will vary with latitude becoming greater at the equator. On the surface of the Earth, the only indication our planet is rotating is in the observation of the sun during the day and the stars during the night. Every day the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, but we are completely unaware that we are traveling to the east at hundreds of miles per hour. Now what if we were to have two people sit on opposite sides of the merry-go-round and try to throw a ball to one another? You can see that as the ball leaves the hands of the person throwing it, it becomes independent of the rotation of the merry-go-round and therefore follows a straight path. 
but because the person trying to catch the ball is still rotating with the merry-go-round, they are quickly moved out of the ball's intended path. Because the merry-go-round is spinning counterclockwise, this deflection is to the right. If it were spinning clockwise, the deflection would be to the left. Now, to an observer above the merry-go-round, the path of the ball appears straight. However, to people on the merry-go-round, the path of the ball curves to the right of the intended motion. This also demonstrates how air movement on the Earth's surface can be deflected by the Earth's rotation, a phenomenon called the Coriolis effect. Watch as Amanda pushes the ball out to the center and it makes a complete circle back to her other side. Some important facts about Coriolis force. First, the Coriolis force causes objects to deflect to the right of their intended path in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. This is why low pressure systems like hurricanes and extratropical cyclones circulate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. Third, the strength of the deflection is proportionate to the speed. For example, the faster an airplane flies, the more the pilot must adjust the flight track to account for the Coriolis force. that not even low Earth orbit is possible, that the International Space Station is a hoax, and all manned space travel is fake. The first is they have a complete mock-up of the International Space Station built on the inside of an airplane. <laughs> and that airplane does a bunch of rises and falls, it does a parabolic, upside down parabolic trajectory and that simulates zero gravity. You can see a sort of a harness sticking through the t-shirt. And then there's suspended or extended mode where they're suspended by wires in front of a blue screen. They don't move around as much. but they can make the scene last for a longer period of time. I'd like to see them do -si do each other really quickly, which they can't do, or they'd get all their wires tangled up. Doesn't matter whether it's the floor or the ceiling. Every evening after dinner and all the work was done, we always had to take a trip or two around the water ring lockers or just go up there and free fly. We uh, also found that we could have quite a bit of fun uh, doing tricks and stunts and flips and rolls that weren't possible uh, here on Earth.
know two Americans who uh, have a fantastic secret without one of them blurting it out to the press. Can you imagine thousands of people uh, uh, able to keep this secret? It would be a conspiracy of thousands of people all over the world. Wouldn't it leak? Wouldn't some of those people be eager to talk about it? Wouldn't we in the media love to put it on the front page? Wouldn't it be a big headline? Basically, the more people that have to be involved, the less likely it is to be true. The more components that have to come together, the more elements that all have to be coordinated just perfectly, the less likely it is to be true. I mean, if you just think about Watergate, I mean, this here you have the most powerful administration in the world, and they couldn't even break into a hotel uh, successfully. And, and, and in any and, case, and and today, people blabbed about it afterward. <laughs> Why did we fake it nine times?